WCCO Television's Director of News, Sports, and Special Events, Raleigh Johnson. Yeah. Now with a footnote to this story of news as it happens, here's WCCO Television's Director of News, Sports, and Special Events, Raleigh Johnson. Now with a footnote to this story of news as it happens, here's WCCO Television's Director of News, Sports, and Special Events, Raleigh Johnson. He's going to love that. Now with a footnote to this story of news as it happens, here's WCCO Television's Director of News, Sports, and Special Events, Raleigh Johnson. You, you mean you should scratch your head? Now, with a footnote to this story of news as it happens, here's WCCO Television's director of news, sports, and special events, <coughs> Raleigh Johnson. And I'm, when six and seven we're not doing tonight? No, we can't without the other equipment. Oh, I see. Good evening, everyone. Tonight's news is headlined by the crash of an Air 50. Take it again. Good evening, everyone. Tonight's news is headlined by the crash of an Air Force B-52 jet bomber on the August Call Farm near Inver Grove. A WCCO television cameraman has just arrived in our newsroom with that story on film. We'll have it for you just as soon as the film has been processed. Minneapolis City Councilman came to grips. Good evening, everyone. Tonight's news headlined by the crash of an Air Force B-52 jet bomber on the August Call Farm near Inver Grove. A WCCO television cameraman has just arrived in our newsroom with that story on film, and we'll have it for you just as soon as the film is processed. Minneapolis City Councilman came to grips. St. Paul City planners and businessmen are at odds tonight with the State Highway Department in a controversy which threatens to delay the state's use of federal freeway building funds for months, maybe years. The dispute concerns the location of the link. Did you get it on? Now we got the soundtrack. <clears throat> now you got this. Holy cow. months, maybe years. The dispute concerns the location of the link between sections of the freeway connecting south, west, and north freeway trunks, a link vital to the overall freeway plan because without it, cross-state traffic will not be possible. A link vital to St. Paul City and business interests because with it, their loop may well be cut off from the state capital. Plans which could divide the city loop from the state capital. Skid Row, target of University of Minnesota sociologist doomed by urban renewal. The university experts have completed a study which proposes that the city set up another Skid Row after bulldozers have smashed this one into dust. Tonight, newsman Tom Pettit begins a series of reports based on that study. Gee, my transition... This map pinpoints the location of that B-52 crash, the August Call Farm south of St. Paul near Inver Grove. Details are sketchy, but here's what we know about it, along with first films just processed in our newsroom. The plane was a B-52 jet bomber from the Strategic Air Command, the type of plane normally carrying... This map pinpoints the location of that B-52 crash, the August Call Farm south of St. Paul near Inver Grove. Details are sketchy, but here's what we know about it, along with first films just processed in our newsroom. The plane was a B-52 jet bomber from the Strategic Air Command, the type of plane normally carrying... 
but has been hospitalized for treatment. Standing room only at the new Metropolitan Stadium today for the season's opener, which saw Wichita drop the Millers 4-2. It was a great day for a ball game. Were you there? <laughs> as soon as it's processed. Minneapolis City Councilman came to grips with an ageless problem today, a request to transfer a liquor license into what is now a residential neighborhood. Residents of the area apparently satisfied with the neighborhood. As soon as it's processed. Minneapolis City Councilman came to grips with an ageless problem today, a request to transfer a liquor license into what is now a residential neighborhood. Residents of the area apparently satisfied with the neighborhood. As soon as it's processed. Minneapolis City Councilman came to grips with an ageless problem today, a request to transfer a liquor license into what is now a residential neighborhood. Residents of the area apparently satisfied with the neighborhood. They've delayed a final decision. Have the three T's replaced the three R's in our schools? A internationally recognized university of... They've delayed a final decision. Have the three T's replaced the three R's in our schools? An internationally famous University of Minnesota educator, Dean Athelston Spilhaus, thinks so. <clears throat> yes. Classrooms in the nation. Economists and government officials seem to agree tonight that the recession is receding, but they get no support from the nation's jobless, those who lost their jobs during the height of the economic setback and are still trying to make ends meet on unemployment compensation. Channel 4 newsman Bob Spangler found the claim check line as long today as it was six months ago. That was pretty good contact. I looked down a couple times. I feel funny looking straight into the camera. They've delayed a final decision. Have the three T's replaced the three R's in our schools? An internationally recognized University of Minnesota educator, Dean Appleston Spilhaus, thinks so. Down a point. Classrooms in the nation. Economists and government officials seem to agree tonight that the recession is receding, but they get no support from the nation's jobless, those who lost their jobs during the height of the economic setback and are still trying to make ends meet on unemployment compensation. Channel 4 newsman Bob Spangler found the claim check line as long today as it was six months ago. This is the baby that really gave me trouble. I just got to look at this one. The dispute concerns the location of the link involving sec between sections of the freeway connecting north, south, west. St. Paul city planners and businessmen are at odds tonight with the state highway department in a controversy which threatens to delay the state's use of federal freeway building funds for months, maybe years. The dispute concerns the location of the link between sections of the freeway connecting south, west, and north freeway trunks, a link vital to the overall freeway plan because without it, cross-state traffic will not be possible, and a link vital to St. Paul city and business interests because with it, their loop may well be cut off from the state capitol. Now, with a footnote to this story of news as it happens, here is WCCO Television's director of news, sports, and special events, Raleigh Johnson. Good evening, everyone. Tonight's news is headlined by the crash of an Air Force beef. 
food yet. Plans which could divide the city loop from the state capital. Skid Row, target of University of Minnesota sociologists doomed by urban renewal. The university experts have just completed a study in which they've proposed that the city set up another skid row after the bulldozers have smashed this one into dust. Tonight, newsman Tom Pettit begins a series of reports based on that study. This map pinpoints the location of that B-52 crash, the August Call Farm, south of St. Paul, near Inver Grove. Now, details are still sketchy, but here's what we know about it, along with first films just processed in our newsroom. The plane was a B-52 jet bomber from the Strategic Air Command, the type of plane normally carrying... Well, if it did have it, we lost it. Yeah. This map pinpoints the location of that B-52 crash, the August Call Farm south of St. Paul near Inver Grove. Details are sketchy, but here's what we know about it, along with first films just processed in our newsroom. The plane was a B-52 jet bomber from the Strategic Air Command, the kind normally carrying... but have been hospitalized for treatment. Standing room only at the new Metropolitan Stadium today for the season's opener, which saw Wichita drop the Millers 4-2. to two. It was a great day for a ball game. Were you there? <clears throat> now with a footnote to this story of news as it happens, here is WCCO Television's director of news, sports, and special events, Raleigh Johnson. Now, with a footnote to this story of news as it happens, here is WCCO Television's director of news, sports, and special events, Raleigh Johnson. I'd like to do that again, <coughs> special events that I should... WCCO Television, Channel 4, Minneapolis, St. Paul. WCCO Television, Channel 4, Minneapolis, St. Paul.
Now with a footnote to this story of news as it happens. Here's WCCO Television's director of news, sports, and special events, Raleigh Johnson. The story you have just seen was as real as the people who portrayed it. A rare assignment for them to tell their own rather than someone else's story. You may have witnessed more exciting or sensational newsreel footage than the assignments covered in this documentary, but then we planned it that way. You see, we believe that the total endeavor of a news gathering organization, a barometer of daily community and public service, is a more engrossing and meaningful story than any single event its newsmen may have an opportunity to report. We are actively pursuing all the news, and it is fundamental to this effort that the motion picture itself serves no greater master than effectively communicating a record of history as it happens. I have here a study of the motion picture arts. Permit me to read you a transcript of a patent brief filed in 1864 by a Frenchman named Ducat, who had invented a device which would reproduce images on a continuous strip of celluloid. He said this, I quote, I am especially enabled to reproduce the passing of a procession, a review of military maneuvers, the movements of a battle or a public feat. There will be, as it were, a living representation of nature, the news as it happens. City planners and businessmen are at odds tonight with the State Highway Department in a controversy which threatens to delay the state's use of federal freeway building funds for months, perhaps even for years. The dispute concerns the location of the link between sections of the freeway between the north and south and west parts of the state, a link vital to the overall freeway plan because without it, cross-state traffic will not be possible a link vital to St. Paul City and business interests because with it... No matter how many of these people do find work, there'll be quite a few taking their places in the compensation lines. Last year, the recession year, this single office paid over $12.5 million in claims, better than twice the normal. St. Paul... The new claims lines. Like Mr. Mitchell said, seasonal difficulties enter here. It's getting a little chilly for many construction jobs. And of course, the demand for extra holiday workers has disappeared. What about the people themselves? Yes, they think they'll be going back to work soon. Now, the Dave Moore News. Good evening, everyone. Tonight's news headlined by the crash of an Air Force B-52 jet bomber on the August Call Farm near Inver Grove. A WCCO-TV news cameraman has just returned to our newsroom with that film story. We'll have it for you just as soon as the film has been processed. Minneapolis City Councilman came to grips with an ageless problem today, a request to transfer a liquor license into what is now a residential neighborhood. Residents of the area, apparently Bill Hawes thinks so. Classrooms in the, in the Twin City schools, well, perhaps, but also some of the most advanced and some of the most retarded classrooms in the nations. Economists and government officials seem to agree tonight that the recession is going to get worse before it gets better. There will still be fewer jobs than now. Tonight, four million Americans are on the list of the unemployed. Channel 4 newsman Bob Spangler reports that the Twin Cities area is now in the direct path of the nation's unemployment tide. This is a state employment office here in the Twin Cities where compensation checks are issued and where job placements are made. Nearly 10,000 people come through this office every week.
I wish I knew. Well, the situation is this. It's too much overproduction, and the cost of living so high is people just... And then no employers can't pay their wages if the prices are enough. They have seasonal jobs, and they lay off this time of the season. Well, I don't know. It seems like money is there, but still there's more of a layoff. Such as these people behind me are unhappy, politicians are likely to be unhappy. There may be some sweeping changes in our economic life next year to get the labor force back where we want it to be. But will it? All we can do is wait and hope and see. Now back to Dave Moore. Have the three T's replaced the three R's in our schools? Well, the internationally recognized University of Minnesota educator, D. points the location of that Air Force B-52 crash, the August Call Farm, south of the Twin Cities near Inver Grove. Details are still sketchy, but here's what we know about it, along with first films just processed in our newsroom. Standing room only at the new Metropolitan Stadium today for the season's opener, which saw Wichita drop the Millers by a score of 4-2. to two. It was a great day for a ball game. Were you there? Cut off from the state capitol. but have been hospitalized for treatment. Standing... Target of University of Minnesota sociologists doomed by urban renewal. The university experts have completed a study which proposes that the city set up another skid roll when bulldozers have smashed this one into dust. Channel 4 newsman Tom Pettit begins a series tonight of skid roll reports based on that study. <laughs> 